How's it going folks? Back out here on Winnebago this afternoon with my good friend Corey from Fishtails, Bait, Tackle, and Coffee at Custom Lures. Uh, we're casting some shiver minnows today, some crankbaits today. We got a perfect chop, beautiful afternoon out here. Hopefully we can put a uh, good show together for you guys. We'll show you uh, what we're using, what colors are working. Uh, but yeah, it's going to be an all casting show. At least that's the plan, unless it goes flat calm. But yeah, hope you guys enjoy the show. We're out here on Winnebago. We'll do a little recap at the end, let you know what actually ends up working and how the fishing was. And uh, until next time, tight lines. Awesome. The guys were... Oh, jeez, there's a big one. Yeah. No. What do you got there, buddy? I don't see a whole lot of bumps. There was a walleye. They actually look Nice job. That's actually a decent one. Yeah. Make sure you hold them up for the camera, because you are on camera, just so you know. Thanks for the warning. You're welcome. You're welcome. Nice. Yeah, nice. 15? Yeah. 15 and a half, probably. Nice looking fish. Heck yeah. The camera's right behind you, buddy. I thought it was on you. Right there. Of course, there on one of your pretty one. purple custom colored shiver minnows. I don't know who would have painted it, but... <laughs> nice job, bud. Big one? No, just a little feller, I think. I don't know, he's getting a little bigger. He actually isn't too yeah. bad. We don't want to catch our limit quite that quick, though. 15, 15 and a half, it might even be 16. Look at that, folks. I think Corey's baits don't catch fish. There you go. If you don't have that purple shiver minnow in your box, you better get it. Because it's a fish catching machine. Head shuffle. Oh, there. There we go. There we go. Doubles are fun. Doubles are a lot of fun. Oh, Is it? Wah, wah, wah. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, good catch and release. Wait a minute. What'd, you, you, what'd, you, what'd, Wait you, a minute. what'd you think of that, bass fisherman? I thought you did. Come on, get your small mold then, because I'm sure that's uh, what it is. A it is a walleye. Nice one, too. No. That's close to Got all kinds of all, all kinds of lead place. in them. Right. Yeah, Just don't forget the camera behind you. Don't forget to show off your bait. Well, it's already out. It's the same bait. Now what? There's a big sheephead. Yeah. The sheephead master is at it again. Are you seeing this, folks? Sheephead Master. <laughs> this is my first Sheephead in what, three? Oh, come on now. <laughs> oh, come on now, nothing. Come on now. I have not touched a Sheephead yet today. Until <laughs> yeah. now. Yeah, go ahead and touch it. Get the stink on your hands. <laughs> He did. I don't know how well you can see that color, folks. Oh, well, now you'll be able to see it good. Make sure that doesn't go on the outtakes. Right there. Fishtails, rattles in the tail, baby. Walleye producing machines. Nice fish. Beautiful fish. Right. Hey, it's 17. It's 17 and a half. Well, I, could, I could just go pick her up. 
Door to door to close her up. That one definitely pinned it down. Well, maybe not. Well, folks, is it a sheep head or is it a walleye? Mister, I don't catch any sheep head. What do you got there, buddy? Where's the silver flash? That's what I'm looking for. Where is it? There it is. There's the silver. Can everybody see that? Let me hold that. Where is that? Corey? Oh, there's Corey. Woo! Sheep head. <laughs> but I had four sets of fish today that really... That struggle. That's not fighting like a sheep head. It wasn't. Show them off with the bait mouth. Yeah, but you do that when it pops on the floor. They like that sparkly. Yes, they do. They believe, and I haven't Hooked up, baby, hooked up. Eh, I don't think he's quite going to make the grade, but he's a walleye. No, it's been a little while. Maybe the sheep had been made last. Right. Come on. And all that's going to do is meet people out up there, which is a good thing. There is. You got there, buddy. Nice boy. Nice. You want to death? You jerk? I don't have to put it that way. Fish. Oh, that one I like. Heck yeah. On this guy. Yeah, that's a new one last night. That's actually glow in the dark. Really? Why you. don't I have this I'll one yet? You, the I you see what I mean, folks? <laughs> he goes in a shop, middle of the night. He's like an elf. You think I got this color in my box? Ew. <laughs> I was going to send you a picture today. And I thought, ah, I'll leave it. Hear that, folks? I hope you're paying attention to what's going on here. I have to. So you look at the baits that are on his shelf, and then you say, "What is in the back room?" We already do that. Don't even go there. He's marginal. 14. Purple and gold with the rattles. Definitely wasn't going nowhere. I'm so impressed with how the fish look. Yeah. <laughs> there. You suck. Really? Nice. One for the old camera. He ain't no, yeah, he's probably uh, 12, 13 incher. But that's on your pink lemonade. Yep. Pink lemonade with the rattles. Better like better put that in the put that up for the camera. Well, oh, come on. Got it. Well, it doesn't matter. It's still caught a fish. Oh. And they're still fun. And they are still fun. Because you know what? Whether your fish is big or small, right? The hook sets all the same. That's right. <laughs> Drum to drum drum drum. It's because this is what, your second time out this year? Yep. First time did it. Oh god. Well you know this is a sheep head. <laughs> I didn't even do a pump. I didn't even do I didn't even get to do a pump. <laughs> and he was hooked up. Yeah, this is definitely a good spot. Yep, it really is. A lot of fish are in here right now. This is actually a walleye too. Well, that walleye that I got, I told you I felt it hit it on the way down. Yep. So nice fish. Oh nice fish. <laughs> wow. Well. 
I believe that's 13 to 0. If anybody's keeping score out there at home. <laughs> I just been crossing the line. <laughs> telling, I'm telling you folks, if the man didn't paint nice baits, and his bait shop wasn't open at 5 o'clock in the morning, probably wouldn't even talk to him. But you can go in and figure it out for yourself. <laughs> I can't even fish uh, <laughs> and if you think that's not going to be on the video, you're wrong. That's going to be on. That might be my intro. <laughs> yeah, that one had a pin first lift. It was there. I'm like, oh boy. Are you serious? We would have had. Yep, yeah, this is not the target species. I don't care, we just pull, pull that we both pull up. There we go. Doubled up! I'll find some trying to come join yours. <laughs> <laughs> like, let me go by my buddy. Double sheephead. Wee! Yeah. Charge it. Oh, God. That, I think it's a walleye, too. Oh, it's still recording. I guess I shouldn't have shut off. <laughs> Feels like a pretty good one too. Unless it's a sheep head hooked in the side. Always that possibility. There is definitely always that possibility. But normally they can even still kick a little bit. Right. But you pat them out when you get them in the gill plane. Right. <laughs> then they tend to kind of give up the drag. Get over here. Determined, whatever it is. Is it? Oh, you got like. Was there a bunch of them following like again? Four of them following was there? That one, yeah. All of a sudden I saw the one and I seen like a bunch of other ones. I'm like, holy crap, that was cool. All right, folks, here it is. Last cast, we're gonna see who can catch the last fish. Sheephead buys dinner, walleye, free baits for life. <laughs> well, I'm not waiting for you to start. <laughs> oh, right. and you cast it halfway across the lake. <laughs> there was nothing put on that. <laughs> I hope you get a northern pike <laughs> that bites that thing right off. I know, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, fish. Come on. Come on. Oh, yeah, and he does it. Sheephead don't count. I know, <laughs> sheephead don't count. Be a walleye. It ain't a walleye either. Wah, wah, wah. Oh, no. Big. big sheep head folks i'm telling you here's mine Corey's gonna look just like this up a little bigger oh i think a lot bigger <laughs> come on settle down you know it just makes me wonder how the fish just be stacked like that i mean for as many doubles as we've had, i know I don't care what species they are. Right. That's just a lot of fish piled up. Yep. What do you got there, I buddy? I haven't seen them yet. What do you got? It won't come up. It is. Oh, yours. there was there was another sheep head behind it again. Yep. Right in the top. <laughs> no, it made, <laughs> <laughs> it made for a dang good fight. Yes, it did. I'm here. What an awesome day. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Awesome few hours. Yeah, we weren't even out here that long. No. Well, how's it going, folks? Uh, back here at the shop tonight after a, boy, I don't even know, words can't even describe the day on Winnebago today. Awesome morning, awesome afternoon. Um, boy, it was just beautiful weather, phenomenal fishing. I uh, caught fish a couple different ways today. Caught them one way in the morning, this afternoon with my good buddy Corey from Fishtails. 
we went out and our plan was to cast and that's what we did. Uh, shiver minnows were on fire. Uh, he, we casted some crankbaits that worked too. Um, just, just an awesome day. I just, it was just one of those days that you're always going to remember on the Winnebago system. Everything just worked. Um, but yeah, shiver minnows were definitely the ticket today. Uh, size two, size two and a half. Uh, a couple colors that Corey paints. This purple with gold flake. Uh, got some rattles in the tail. This fruit punch. Same thing, rattles in the tail. Uh, he's got a pink lemonade uh, that I actually don't have that he was casting today that worked really well too uh, with some rattles in the tail. And boy, you'd sit there and you look at the nose on that thing. After the abuse this thing took today in a normal shiver minnow, I mean, that paint would be gone on that nose. And I mean, there's not even a scratch on it. Same with that fruit punch. I mean, there's not even a nick on it. And that's that clear coat that Corey puts on these shiver minnows and just, just makes these baits last. I mean, you got a big investment in these shiver minnows. I highly recommend that clear coat to everybody. Uh, these custom colors just work. They have worked. They've been working. Um, yeah, I just, I don't know. That's, that's about all I can say about today. It was just an awesome day. There's nothing better than casting for these fish. I mean, I love trolling, but boy, there's something about setting the hook. And between the sheephead and the walleyes today, it was, I mean, literally at some points, it was almost every cast. So thanks, Corey. I uh, can't say enough good things about you and Don at the shop. Thanks for everything you guys do. Thanks for being open every day. Um, yeah, you guys, uh, you guys are awesome. And Corey, you just do a great job painting baits. But uh, I'll leave Corey's number down below if you guys want to get a hold of him to order any of these baits. He's got some, and I say some, limited stock available, but it goes very quickly. So if there is a certain color you want to order, whether it's a crankbait, a shiver minnow, whatever, you want to get your uh, baits clear coated, give them a call, set it up, order them. Uh, don't expect them to be on the shelves. we got a lot of tournaments coming up. These baits are going to be flying off the shelves as fast as he makes them. So if you see something you want or know something you want, call them and get it ordered. Um, but yeah, other than that, um, you know, besides the casting, you know, my, my go-to, Razor Rods, Platinum, 7-foot, Medium. Uh, combine that with the Dio with the Tula Reel. 10-pound, um, 832, 14-pound Suffix Advanced Fluorocarbon Leader. Um, you know, pretty simple setup. Uh, boy, but that razor rod makes such a huge difference feeling all those bites, feeling all the rocks, feeling the zebra mussels. If you got zebra mussels on your baits, if you haven't checked out razor rods, check them out. Um, shields for your reels, the Daiwas, uh, the, the Shields Outfitter reels. I mean, I use them all. Uh, and I can't say enough good things about them either. But anyway, um, I'll put links down below for everything else I was using today. Um, hope you guys are enjoying the videos. Thank you so much for all the support. Um, you know, seeing you guys at the boat ramps out on the water. Uh, I appreciate all the, all the words of wisdom, all the words of support. I'm really enjoying this YouTube thing. Hope you guys are getting something out of it. Um, it seems like you are, which is great because that's why I'm doing it. And uh, other than that, until next time on the water, tight lines.